I'm here with Chloe Munro, whose day job is with the Clean Energy Regulator. Uh, yes, I'm the chair of the Clean Energy Regulator, which administers uh, the national policies, uh, market-based policies, that address climate change. Uh, that includes the reporting system, which uh, gathers information on emissions across industry. Uh, it includes the renewable energy target, uh, which provides incentives for uptake of renewables at both large and small scale, including household solar, and also the Emissions Reduction Fund, which uh, contracts with people who have projects to avoid or reduce emissions, again, right across the country. Uh, now, as well as that, you're a member of the Finkel review team. Where is that review up to? Uh, well, we're, I guess, uh, about halfway through. We. Uh, we produced a preliminary report in December, which is essentially an issues paper and it has a series of questions in it for, uh, for people to respond to and we've had a lot of consultation around that. Uh, currently some of my colleagues, including Dr Finkel, are uh, travelling internationally to meet with a lot of uh, institutions, market operators and so forth, who are uh, facing very similar issues in their countries and uh, that will be a very major input. And when they come back, then we'll be consolidating all of that and coming up with our final report with recommendations and this blueprint for um, a national reform uh, in, um, the mid by the middle of the year. And that will be presented to the Council of Australian Governments and the, their, their Energy Council. And I understand at this point, the review panel and the task force members are working across a number of different work streams. Uh, yes, we've, tried, we've broken it down. I mean, it is all interconnected, but we've broken it down into seven broad headings, and that includes things like technology and how that is actually changing the market, uh, about consumers and how also consumers and their, uh, their choices are uh, changing the market. We really see consumers at the centre of this. Uh, uh, affordability is a very important issue, and so there's a section on prices. Um, and then we're looking at the various way, the ways that the, the uh, network and the technologies interact. And finally, and really very importantly, governance and how all the institutions that manage this extremely complex uh, system that delivers e electricity services, so the governance, the institutions, and how that all hangs together so that decisions can be made to operate the system in a way that serves everybody's interests in the future. Governance has certainly been an area that energy stakeholders have had some concern about. Has the review team been looking at all uh, things like the speed of decision making in the energy sector? Well, that's certainly one of the issues uh, that the system, which includes the market rules and the way that investments are made and all of those things, um, needs to be able to respond to what has been some very significant changes and will continue to be uh, in real time. And so we are looking very carefully at how, um, how the, that, that, that system of governance operates. And certainly we can see areas where it has taken too long for um, advice to be formulated and then for those changes that have been agreed actually working through to land uh, and uh, help uh, in the end consumers get, get, get the results that they're looking for. So that is a big, it's not the only issue by any means, but I think in every, in every uh, industry this is a very fast changing world and being able to respond uh, in a way that is kind of predictable and understood by the players in the industry is very important. And finally, Chloe, you've been involved in a great many extensive and often controversial industry reform projects. Is there anything that makes this electricity example any different? Uh, I think it's remarkable at the moment, um, and I have, and including you know, I first came to Australia to uh, be involved in energy reforms 20 years ago. So uh, it's, there is incredible goodwill for this process. Uh, there are a lot of concerns out there. A lot of people have issues that they um, are hoping will be resolved. But they have, uh, they're putting enormous faith in our ability to do that and everybody wants to help. And I must say it's extremely heartening to me to see such a widespread uh, engagement and support in the process of this review. Chloe, thanks so much for joining us at the Energy Consumers Australia Foresighting Forum. It's an absolute pleasure. Thank you.